guys, it's Shayna and today it's Tasty Tuesday. Today we're gonna have a popsicle party and this is gonna be a new series that I do every Friday on my vlog so go check it out. If you remember a couple of weeks ago I did part one where we made three pretty yum-tastic popsicles and today I'm gonna show you how to make three more. So we're gonna kick this thing off with the Blue Lagoon Mocktail, which is one of my absolute favorite summer drinks. All this drink is is Hawaiian Punch Berry Blue Typhoon. I prefer using the single packages because they have the perfect amount of sugar. Then I'm gonna add some white grape sparkling water, and I prefer using this because it has amazing flavor and it's no calories and no sugar. Then I'm gonna add one part of ginger ale. If you are of legal age, I will not judge you if you decide to substitute this for some type of clear alcohol. Do you boo, do you. Then I'm going to take it and pour it into the popsicle maker. And once it freezes, it's going to end up looking like this. Now we're going to move on to the key lime pie popsicle. So for this one, you're going to need, of course, a key lime, some graham crackers, and key lime pie flavored yogurt. We're gonna take that lime and cut it in half. And then I'm gonna do something a little bit on the Sophista Ratchet side and use tongs to squeeze the juice out of the lime. I realized after I started this that we didn't actually have a juicer. So this does the exact same thing. And I'm gonna take the juice of the lime and mix it with the crushed up graham crackers. I showed you guys how to do that in the first video. So once you get it all mixed together, we're gonna take a couple of scoops of the yogurt and put that in the pop. And then we're gonna take a scoop of the graham cracker mixture and put that in between each layer. And we're gonna go back and forth until we get to the top. As I told you in the first video, it works a lot better when you alternate layers. And of course, you wanna fill the mold up so that there's about an inch of space left at the top so that it does have room to expand. Once you get done, pop the top on it, put it in the freezer, and it'll end up looking like this. And finally, I am gonna show you how to make one of my newest favorites, which is this pink lemonade grapefruit situation. So I'm going to take this single pink lemonade mixture. You do not have to use the brand that I'm using. Use what you love. And I'm going to pour this into a 16 ounce bottle of water and shake it up pretty good. Then I'm going to take my grapefruit and kind of roll it around a little bit. Um, I saw this on like Iron Chef or something like that. I really don't know what it does, but it makes me feel like I'm a pro. So we'll go with it. Then I'm gonna cut the grapefruit in half, grab my tongs, and squeeze the juice out of that. Then I'm gonna pour equal parts of the pink lemonade and grapefruit juice into a cup and add about a tablespoon of sugar just to give it a little bit of flavor. And if you don't add the sugar before you put it into the freezer, it just tastes really, really tart. So if you like that, you can go for it. I need sugar in my life. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to mix it all together. And then pour it into the mold, of course, leaving that inch at the top. And then we're going to pop the top on it, put it in the freezer, and it's going to come out looking like this. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. And don't forget to join me on the blog every Friday for a new popsicle recipe. And I will see you next time on Tasty Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.